Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sandy. And as you can see, this is Dragon's Age Inquisition. Now, I know it's not really the type of video that I post on my channel, but you know what? I like to play games outside of just first-person shooters. So, if you really don't like this kind of game, you're not forced to watch it, don't worry, you could exit out now. <laughs> but if you're interested at all, I'd like to go over a couple of the things that I learned or noticed while I was playing it out in Los Angeles. So I had about, I'd say, six hours of game time with this. And uh, the first thing you'll notice right off the bat are the graphics in this game. You can't really tell because the capture devices we were using was, it was capturing at a limited bitrate, but in person this game looks absolutely phenomenal. It runs off the Frostbite 3 engine which, if you guys are familiar with it, it was used in Battlefield 4. Obviously a really good looking game. I feel like they took it one step further, and this is one of the best looking games I've played yet. So, if you're a graphic junkie, you are gonna love this. Now, the second thing you'll probably notice when you're playing a game is the audio. Now, there's something weird about the audio in this, because while it sounds really great, the actual sounds, the effects part is kind of weird. It kind of sounds like you're in a tunnel, like there's an echo at all times. And I'm hoping they're going to sort that out before the release date. You could hear it if you uh, turn the volume up. And that's why the first video I posted, I didn't put any commentary. Because I like to watch footage of a game that's not out yet with, without anyone talking over it, like I'm doing right now. Sorry, I think I'm getting a cold. I probably sound a little weird. But like I was saying, the audio, it sounds great, but there's some kind of echo effect being used, which uh, I hope they'll sort out. Also, when it comes to the music, in a game like this, which I have never played the Dragon's Age games, but I'm told this one is by far the most open world of them. So when you get an open world game, you're usually looking for some kind of music, you know, like exploration music. The music isn't always playing in this game which I found to be a little odd. They could definitely uh, play some music every now and then. I, I do hear it sometimes, but it's not all the time, which uh, kind of struck me as a little weird. So now, even if it has the best graphics and the best audio, it wouldn't matter if the gameplay wasn't any good. Luckily, the gameplay is pretty fun in this game. The AI could be a little weird at times, and AI is clearly pretty important because you have three party members, and then also yourself. So you got a team of four, and luckily the way they follow you is actually really good. They don't get stuck, they don't get lost, or there's none of that. You know, there's no Skyrim lost follower going on. But when you give them commands and the tactical ability, because you could basically pause the combat and tell your party members where you want them to go, some kind of like a strategic element in the game, um, I know if you guys played the other Dragon's Age games, that was a core mechanism in it. But sometimes they don't completely listen to what you tell them, which I found to be a little odd. Hopefully they iron out that bug by the time the game is released. If you don't want to deal with any AI of your little party mates, apparently there's a four-player co-op coming out, which I think sounds pretty awesome. But I did not get a chance to try that while I was playing the game, so I can't really comment on it. And as I mentioned before, this is an open world game, but I didn't find it to be truly open world. It was There was a very large zone that I was in. It was pretty huge, actually. But there were a lot of cliffs and mountains that kind of told you where to go. You know, you couldn't just go out exploring because there wasn't really anything there. You, it's very open world, but it's also slightly linear, if that makes any sense. You, you kind of go place to place. It's hard to explain. You'd have to see it yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, the combat in the game does feel pretty good. It felt more like an like an action hack and slash than it did tactical. Now, I talked to another gamer that was there, and he said the other games, the previous Dragon's Age games, were a lot more strategic and tactical. But I found this one to be uh, pretty much a hack and slash, and it was fun, though, because I really don't care for the micromanaging that goes on. And during the boss battles, you do have to use some tactics, though. And when it comes to boss battles, there are certainly large boss battles. 
you'll actually see at the end of this video there is a uh, rather enormous dragon just skulking about and uh, the devs told us that it was basically unbeatable well I uh, I played for about three hours versus that dragon and I was actually able to take it down it's uh, probably the most boring footage you would ever see but if you guys want me to do it I could upload a video basically summing up how I did it and uh, I did it solo and just stuck there for a good three hours and well took him down yeah the devs actually couldn't believe I sat there and did it but perseverance uh, always wins <laughs> So guys, if you got any questions about the game that I didn't go over in this video, just leave them in the comments, and maybe I'll go over them next video. Alright guys, thanks for coming out. I will see ya.